In this episode, I'm gonna share with you five skills that marketers and business people must master. If you wanna be successful in business or marketing, you're obviously going to need skills, but the good news is you don't need to master a million different skills doing a million different things. Rather, you need to laser focus in on a few vitally important but incredibly profitable skills that can literally transform your business and your life. It sounds like a bold promise, I know, but I assure you, if you neglect learning and mastering these skills or just skip this video entirely and go watch a funny cat video, well, you will pay the penalty and the price is steep. And I want better for you and I know you do too. So let's dive in. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, marketing strategist and welcome to The Marketing Show. No matter what you wanna do, you're gonna require skills in order to get it done. And every goal or objective or career is going to require a very different skill set in order to help you achieve the outcome that you're after. For example, when I used to be a business jet pilot, I needed the skills like situational awareness and the ability to stay cool under pressure and to quickly assess and incorporate a whole bunch of information and the ability to fly a plane. That one's pretty important. And when I used to sell sporting equipment back in college, well, I needed a very different set of skills like customer service and product knowledge and the ability to sharpen a pair of hockey skates. And because I live in Canada, I sharpened a lot of hockey skates. Well, anyway, fast forward all of that to today, and while many of the skills are incredibly useful and transferable, such as situational awareness and the ability to incorporate a lot of information and good customer service, things like that, there's also some skills that are just completely irrelevant today, like the ability to fly a plane or the ability to sharpen hockey skates. And this is why it's so important, so vital to identify the skills that you're going to need that are gonna be relevant to whatever goal that you're trying to pursue right now. The reality is, is some skills are simply gonna be more valuable to you than others. So it doesn't make sense to concentrate on acquiring all of these different, totally irrelevant, largely useless skills when you can just focus in and really dial in on what you truly need to know and learn and master. So with all that said, let's dive into the five skills you must learn and master in order to be successful at business and marketing. The very first skill is all about market mastery. Now, it could be argued that this skill is almost more of a mindset thing, but the reality is, is there are some underlying skills that are going to come into play. The beauty of it here is that it's actually relatively simple with a few little shifts that you can make in your attitude. And that really is understanding that when it comes to business, when it comes to marketing, it is all about the customer, period. End of story. It's just about the customer. You see, at the end of the day, it's not the businesses or the marketers with the most fancy websites or the most bells and whistles or the most complicated funnels or segmentation or any of that stuff. Rather, it's the customer-centric, the market-centric businesses that really succeed because whoever understands the customer best wins. Why is this the case? Well, it's really quite simple. It's because when you understand your customers better than anybody else, better than they even understand themselves, well, you're able to give them exactly what they want. And the beauty of giving them exactly what they want is, well, they're likely to give you exactly what you want, which is the sale or money, revenue, profit for your business, essentially allowing you to stay alive and survive. This is why one of the most important skills that you can master is the ability to go out there and really try to understand your ideal customer avatar, your ideal target market, the customer that you're trying to serve. You wanna to talk to them, you wanna to listen to them, you want to run surveys, you want to call them on the phone, you wanna send them emails, you want to read what they read, watch what they watch, listen to what they listen. Essentially try to be as empathetic and understanding from where they're coming from as humanly possible. The better you're able to do this, again, the better you're going to be able to give them exactly what they want. A lot of businesses sometimes get lost and they misallocate or misappropriate or just misplace their priorities, essentially thinking that it's all about the business and all about the products or the services that they're selling, when the reality is it really is all about the customer because they're the ones that you rely on in order to stay in business. So it only makes sense to try to understand them as best as possible and try to ensure that you're communicating with them in a way that they understand and they feel valued and they feel appreciated. All right, moving on to the next skill that you must master. Well, we're taking a bit of a hard left here and moving right away from the marketing and more to kind of the personal development productivity side, but it's still so incredibly important. And this is something that I wish I'd mastered decades ago because it would have saved me tons of time and energy and wasted resources doing the wrong things, really being efficient at getting things done, but not being effective at getting the right things done. And what this all comes down to is time mastery. You see, one of the coolest parts about working for billionaires, which I used to do, is that I was able to watch them and learn from them and study what they would do. Not in a creepy way, but in a way that allowed me to incorporate and integrate some of their habits and some of their decisions into the things and into the decisions that I made. 
Anyway, one of the most profound and yet also profoundly obvious conclusions that I arrived to is that we all had the same 24 hours in a day. We all had the same seven days a week and we all had the same 365 days a year. So how come they were making billions and billions of dollars and I wasn't anywhere close to that level? Well, it sounds really simple, but it really does come down to how we were both using our time. They were using their time in order to conduct high leverage, high value activities and provide a ton of value to the market. I was providing some value, obviously they kept me around, but obviously not enough to be generating billions of dollars like they were. Here's an example to show just how easy this works. When I first got into working, my first real job, other than mowing lawns and delivering newspapers, was working at a truck stop as an assistant cook, and I was making less than five bucks an hour. Well, fast forward a few years and I managed to make $50 an hour doing something a little bit different, essentially working in, a, in the corporate world. Well, fast forward that even a few more years and now I was making $500 an hour doing consulting and running an agency, things like that. And to really take it to the extreme, we can fast forward a few more years when I started making $5,000 an hour by really leveraging and identifying where my highest value was, whether it was through speaking or training or workshops or things like that. Same 60 minutes, but in one case, I made $5 an hour, and in another, I made $5,000 an hour. Very different. So same amount of time, and yet one skill was a thousand times more valuable to the market than the other one. And this in is really where the key lies in mastering your time. You want to identify what things you're doing that are valuable to the market, valuable to you, and valuable to your friends and your family and your colleagues and things like that, and which things are kind of time sucks, or time vampires that really aren't doing anything to help you in any way, shape, or form. And you want to try to eliminate those as much as possible. The reality is, is even where I'm at today, I still find myself sometimes getting bogged down in $5 an hour tasks and $5 an hour jobs and chores and administrative stuff that I really have no business in doing. It simply doesn't make any sense, not only because it's not a good use of my time, but also because I don't like it. And that leads me to my next point and the next skill you're gonna to wanna to master. The next skill that you must master if you want to be successful at business and marketing is all about delegation mastery. You see, another comparison or parallel here between working with the billionaires is that the things that they did, they were really good at. That was their specific area. They delegated pretty much everything else. You see, the reality is, is to truly become world-class, you can't do everything yourself. And even if you could, would you really want to? Odds are pretty good, there's some things that you're doing that you just don't enjoy, so why not get rid of them? This is me giving you permission to get rid of the things that you just don't like. For example, when I first started one of my very first businesses, one of the first things that I offloaded or unloaded or delegated was bookkeeping, was accounting. This was something that I just did not enjoy and I was also really bad at it and it would take me a really long time. So it didn't make any sense for me to be doing it when I could just pay someone else to do it. They were faster, they were more efficient and it freed me up to focus on more important things, things that I was better at. Now, if you've never delegated things before, or even if you have and you still find it really challenging, let me give you a few tips here to help make the process a whole lot easier and a whole lot more fun. Starting with the very first thing that you wanna delegate are the things that you hate. This should be really simple, but if you hate writing blog posts, well, hire a writer. If you hate doing your bookkeeping, hire a bookkeeper or an accountant. If you hate doing all your legal stuff, hire a lawyer. I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of these things you probably shouldn't be doing yourself anyway, but that's another story for another day. The point is, find the things that you just don't like and find somebody else to do them. You're not getting rid of your garbage work because to someone else, they might actually really enjoy those tasks and they might be really good at them. Probably better than you, especially if you don't like them anyway. So get rid of those first. The next thing you wanna get rid of are things that you're not great at. These are things you're okay and you can fumble your way through, you can get the job done, but you're not amazing at them. Well, find somebody who is, find somebody who loves them, and get rid of those next. After that, well, it gets a little bit trickier, but here you're gonna to wanna to get rid of things that you're actually pretty good at. But the reality is, is if somebody could do them at 80% of your level, it's probably a good reason to delegate and even more concentrate, even more focus in on those one, two, maybe even three areas that you're just absolutely amazing at that nobody can touch. Of course, this is an iterative and ongoing process where you're gonna to continue to get better at things and delegate more things and focus more and delegate more and so on. But this is a pretty good framework to help get you started. Started. The beauty here is the end result or the outcome that you're left with, which is a day that's largely filled up with things that you enjoy and things that you're really good at. And that is an amazing thing to do. All right, the next skill that you're going to need to master if you want to be successful in business or marketing, or even in life, is communication mastery. Essentially the ability to influence and to persuade and to inform and to educate and to share a message with somebody else or a whole lot of somebody else's. The beauty of communication mastery is that it is absolutely a skill that can be learned and should be. 
In fact, of all the skills that I could push you and guide you to learn, it would be the ability to communicate to your ideal target market clearly, concisely, and compellingly exactly what you do, why they should care, and how you can help them. Again, if you can learn how to properly communicate your message to your ideal target market, or to your team, or to your friends, and to your family, well, life gets a whole lot easier, as does business, as does marketing. Because at the end of the day, that's really what marketing is all about. It's effectively communicating your value to your ideal target market, letting them know why they should care, what benefit it's gonna to provide to them, and how to do business with you. Again, this is an incredibly valuable skill, and while we're not diving into the specifics of it in this video, I'm gonna make sure to link up a video at the end of this one that'll help to arm you with everything you need to succeed in that realm. All right, the next skill that you're going to need to learn and to master is, well, this is kind of a meta topic, but essentially, it's learning itself. And I'm talking about learning mastery, the ability to learn, to process information, to consume information, and to basically get smarter. All right, so here's some good news. No matter what level or what stage of business or marketing or even life that you're at right now, you can get better. This is called a growth mindset, which is the understanding that you really can improve, you can adapt, you can evolve, and you can get better at whatever it is that you choose. This is incredibly empowering because it means that whatever you're at right now, you can achieve your goals through hard work, through diligent study, through effective execution, through aligning yourself with the right people, through all of these proven processes that many people have done before you. So all you have to do is learn and model from them and that'll put you on the path, really good path. You see, among the most successful business people and marketers today, well, they're always consuming, they're always learning, and they understand that garbage in means garbage out. So good stuff in means good stuff out. And this is why it's really important to consume quality content from people that you like and trust, and you know that you're getting the best strategies and the best ideas and the best concepts possible to help you achieve your goals. Over my career, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in training, courses, mentors, education, books. Some of it has been really, really good. Some of it's been pretty terrible, but some of it has been absolutely life-changingly amazing. And it's really by mining for those diamonds, for those few nuggets that are really going to make all the difference, well, that have made all the difference and allowed me to achieve what I've achieved today. The point here is to really understand and really appreciate and accept the fact that if you want to get better at something, you're going to have to spend some time and some energy and probably some money into learning and into investing in your education and in your training, which is why the next thing you're going to want to do is check out the video I have linked up right here on top digital marketing skills to master. This is really going to help with the communication and marketing aspect of your business. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in the next episode. Is to focus on conversation generation. Now, as a diehard proponent of direct response marketing, which is really...